Hi guys, welcome to the 24th video of the Love Bubber 450 question series. So we are almost done with strings. We have finished array and matrix. Uh, if you have not watched the earlier videos, I'll put the link of the playlist in the description and also you can find the questions link in the description. I hope you're solving with me side by side because if you don't, then ultimately you will not get anything. So please continue to support me like this. You've given me a lot. Like, share this video with all your friends and subscribe, guys. It will really motivate me. So today, let us solve two problems. So today's first problem is isomorphic strings. What are isomorphic strings? We will be given two input strings, S1 and S2. And isomorphic string means there is a one-to-one -one mapping possible for every character in string S1 with in string S2. Every character of string S1 can be mapped on a one-to-one -one basis with S2. What is this one-to-one -one kind of mapping? So say, for example, let us take the test case example only. So the test case example says what one string is AAB and another string is XXY. So this is string S1, this is string S2. As you can see here, A is mapped with X, A is mapped with X again, B is mapped with Y. So there is one-to-one -one mapping. See, A is mapped only with X, nothing. There is nothing else mapped with A. Similarly, B is mapped only with Y. So this is called one-to-one -one mapping. What is not one-to-one -one mapping? Like this, this is not one-to-one -one mapping. For example, if instead of X over here, okay, instead of X over here, there was Y, then A is mapped with Y also and X also. So this is wrong. So this cannot happen. So they are asking us, we have to check if the two strings are isomorphic or not. So I hope you understood what is this isomorphic thing. So first step is what? We have to do what? We have to check length of strings. See, if the length of strings are not equal, if the strings are of unequal length, then the answer is zero. So if, suppose first string length is n and second string length is m, if n not equal to m, we just return false. I hope this is clear. This is the first step, okay. Next, what we will do, we will need two arrays. We will need two arrays. One will be Boolean array. One will be a Boolean array, okay. And one will be a map. This Boolean array will tell us whether the character in S2 is already present as a mapping or not. And this map will tell us which character in S1 is mapped to which character in S2. So we need two extra space. One is a Boolean array and one is a map. This is also an array only. So I'll show you the code here. First, we'll take a Boolean array. Both of them will be size 256 because there are 256 ASCII characters. Boolean array, first we will initialize everything to false, zero. And map, we will initialize everything to minus one. Okay. Now let us traverse through the string. If map of S1 of i is minus one, this means, what does this mean? This means, First occurrence. This is the first occurrence of character S1 of I. So this is first occurrence of S1 of I. Then what we have to check? We have to check if S2 of I is already present. If it is already a mapping, then we will return false. Because let me explain this. Okay, let me explain this. What, what I mean by this. For example, we come across a letter A. This is S1 of I. And then we come across S2 of I as B. 
we have to first check whether this B is not mapped with something else. For example, if there is already a mapping, say X and B is a mapping, then we cannot have A and B as mapping. Na? That is why we are checking if it is present or not. If it is already present, then we will return false. Otherwise, we will make it true and we will say map of S1 of I is S2 of I. I hope this is clear now, this step. So similarly, if it is not the first occurrence, if S1 of I is not the first occurrence, then we just have to check if the mapping is correct or not. That means if suppose there is already a mapping, say A and X, and then again we get A and we get some other letter Z, this is wrong. That is what we are checking here. Sorry for that. We are checking over here. If the mapping does not match to the previously mapped character, we'll return false. If the end, if this entire loop ran successfully, we will return true. So this is how you check if two strings are isomorphic or not. You just need two uh, extra arrays, one a Boolean array to check if S2 of I is present in the mapping or not, and one mapping array which will map the characters. Here characters mapping means the ASCII value. Don't get confused, okay? ASCII value is being mapped. So this was one problem, isomorphic string. Now let us see other problem, transform one string to another using minimum number of operations. So we are given two strings A and B, we have to convert A to B. And only operation is to put any character from A in front of A. Let me tell you what this means. So first we have to remove this, okay? So let us take this example. If suppose first string is ABD and second string is BAD, we have to make some operations in this first string by removing some character and putting it in the front. What we can do, we will remove B and put it in the front. So it will become BAD. See these two match. Like that, we have to find minimum operations. So how will you do this problem? Just take a minute, pause the video, think for a while, try to implement it in your compiler, in your editor. I hope you have uh, at least uh, read the question and tried at least once or twice. So let us see the solution. So first we'll take the input, two strings will be the input S1 and S2, okay. So let us take an answer variable, which will tell us the minimum operations required. Let us take two variables i, which is initially equal to s1 dot length minus one and j, which is initially equal to s2 dot length minus one. Basically, we will be traversing from behind, from back, from the right side to the left in both the strings from the back side, okay? What we will be checking? First of all, we will say while i greater than zero, greater than or equal to zero and j greater than or equal to zero. What we will be doing? So we will say if s1 of i is equal to s2 of i, then we will do i minus minus j minus minus. If this condition is false, sorry, s1 of i equal to s2 of j, okay? If this condition is false, what we will do? We will say while i greater than zero and s1 of i not equal to s2 of j, What we will be doing over here? We will be doing I minus minus and answer plus plus. 
But before this, we need to check if both the strings contain the same set of characters or not. See, for example, if one string is like this A, A, B, C, D, and another string is A, B, B, C, D, can these two be ever equal? This has one extra A and this has one extra B. It can never be equal. So they should have same set of characters. So how to check for same set of characters? So to check for same set of characters, to check for same set of characters, what we have to do? Let us take a map. Initially it is zero, all values. 26 because I think they say only uppercase. That's what I was trying to find. Or let us just assume 256, whatever. There are 256 characters, okay? ASCII values. So for I less than S2 dot length, Okay, now I will check if they contain same set of characters or not. How to do that? I will do map of S1 of I minus minus. Then I'll say if map of I is not equal to zero, I will break. If I is not equal to 256, then I will say C out impossible. Otherwise, it is possible. And we have to write this code. So let us test our solution. See, as you can see, we're getting the correct answer if we give both the strings, but we got some compiler error over here. Oh, maybe, yeah. I don't know how we got the answer. So actually, you know what, let us just take a global variable only. I mean, let us declare it outside all the this thing for loops. Now let me check. Yeah, so now it is giving the perfect answer. So we just have to check if the string lengths are the same and uh, Actually, we can just check if they contain same set of characters, which is done in this map voila loop. And then we just have to check if S1 of I is S2 of J, we will decrease both. Basically, it's a two pointer problem if you carefully analyze. Otherwise, until S1 of I is not equal to S2 of J, what we will do is we will decrease I and increase our answer variable. So this is my solution. I hope you understood. I hope you tried it by yourself because otherwise you will not understand it. Try it by yourself. Do it in your editor. Try to dry run your code. You know, work it out before you see the video. Thank you for watching this. Please keep supporting me. Share it with all your friends. Ask them to subscribe and like my video. It will really motivate me and uh, please stay tuned for the next one and all your comments in the, I mean, all your suggestions in the comment box will be taken into account. Please don't feel angry if something is wrong. I will try to rectify it as soon as possible. 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग एवरीबडी हैव अ गुड डे बाय टेक केयर